All right, we'll look at another example here of how to solve uh, exponential equation using logarithms. So again, I'm trying to solve for x. So just like we've done all the time, you know, first thing before you start really getting in your problem, look at your problem and realize what do you not like about it. And uh, we're going to basically figure out what's being done to our variable and undo that stuff. So right now, the thing I really don't like about this is there's a variable that I'm solving for in the exponent. So what I'm going to do is before I can actually get rid of this base of e, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the other stuff. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides. Now it will give me 40 times e to the decimal 6x power. And over here I'll get 240. My next step is to divide by 40. So again, what we've done up to this point should not be anything new to us solving equations. So the new part comes in basically right here. So now we're at a point where we have e to the decimal 6x power. So I need to get rid of that e. And what I'll do to, is use the inverse operation. Notice I use the natural log because the natural log has a base of e. So those things will cancel. And it's going to leave me decimal 6x is equal to the natural log of 6. And then, of course, what I can do is divide both sides by decimal 6. So that will cancel here. And then I'll get x is equal to the natural log of 6 divided by decimal 6. At this point in time, I can use my trusty calculator. So clear natural log of 6 divided by decimal 6. Oops. So I get 2 decimal 986. All right, 